Hello and welcome to this next tutorial, uh, which I'm going to show you how to use a site called Photopin, which has uh, a number of free photographs on, and you can use them on your blog posts if you like, but the trick to using them is that you will have to credit them, and there's a little bit of a, a kind of process to that, which is why I wanted to record this video for you. Now first of all I'm going to go to the Photopin website, not my Facebook page, uh, so <laughs> I'm going to photopin.com, okay, and here's the home page. So we can search for photos from the home page. Um, so let's just say I wanted a photograph of a woman for my blog, that's a previous search I've done before, and I'm going to search that. Right, so here are my results. Now, as you can see at this top, we've got three rows of sponsored images. Now, if you click on these images, uh, you will have to pay for those. So I suppose this site, um, they're trying to encourage you to go off to another site and buy some photos. But if you ignore the first three rows, uh, go down a little bit more, you can see there's a number of other pictures down here, which I can use for free on my blog as long as I credit them. So let's just say I wanted to use this photo of the woman here. So you can preview it um, if you want by hovering over preview on any of the photos or you can just click on the get photo drop down menu and that will bring up a new window for you. So um, this is the um, options that you have around image sizes. So let's just say I wanted to download a large size image so I'm going to click download now and that's going to save in my downloads folder and open up that image on my computer. Now, before I go away from the photo pin site, I just need to, to get the attribution. So this is where I can credit uh, the photo. So you see down the bottom here, it says grab HTML for attribution. So all I need to do is highlight this code and I'm going to copy and paste it. Okay, so now if I go back to my WordPress admin dashboard, here we are. Okay, I'm on my test website now. So let's just say I wanted to add a new post. This is going to be my photo pin post. Now I need to um, import my new photo into my media library. It's not there yet. So first of all, I'm going to click the add media button. Okay, so there's all the photos I have already in my media library. And I'm going to just drag and drop my photo from the downloads page into the upload files area. So there's two options here. I mean, it's quite easy just to drag and drop, or you can just select the file and then choose from all of the files on your computer. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna drag and drop from my downloads folder. That's now uploaded my photo. And because I'm gonna save it on my media library, I might use it on this blog post, but I might also might use it on future blog posts. And I don't want to forget the credit. Um, I think it could be quite easy to lose that. So I'm gonna make sure that I actually put the credit into the caption area. And you don't have to put it into the caption area if you don't want to. You might want to save it, say, in the description field. The description field won't always publish on your blog post, though, so you might have to copy and paste that out into the content area of your blog post. But for me, I just find it's easier just to put it in the caption. Um, you know, you could, if you didn't want just the photo credit in the caption, you could always type something else in there, like, um, you know, photo of woman and then the photo credit afterwards. So it doesn't just have a photo credit in the caption that way. And I'm just gonna do, give it a quick title as well so it doesn't have that um, kind of strange file name in there. And then I'm going to insert it as a thumbnail into my post. So there we have it. Um, now you can see I've got a caption, I've got my title that I put in there, photo of woman, and then the photo credit, Jonathan Cos, and it's via PhotoPinCC, and it's got all the links in there ready to go. Um, so that is completely um, kosher, you're allowed to use those images as long as you put in this caption. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any other queries, please feel free to email me, mail at kerrywilliams.net.